One million pounds per week or retire? What would you choose? Strap in for the saga of Eden Hazard, from meteoric rise to stardom to injuries to controversial decisions. We've got it all covered. Let's kick it off. Born on January 7, 1991, in La Louvière, Belgium, Eden Michael Walter Hazard grew up in a football crazy household. His mum and dad, both former footballers, knew they had a future star in their midst. Imagine this, his mum was a striker and played football while she was pregnant with Eden until she was three months in. And his dad, a defensive midfielder, hung up his boots in 2009 just to focus on nurturing Eden and his brother's careers. At the age of four, Eden was already making waves at Royal Stade Brannois. His coach back then had nothing but awe for the kid, saying he was so talented that he practically had nothing to teach him. After eight years there, Eden moved to AFC Tubis, where his knack for the game caught the eye of a scout from Lille OSC during a local tournament. Joining Lille turned out to be a game-changer for Hazard. He developed a playing style marked by exceptional balance, agility and ball control. He wasn't just versatile but became the heartbeat of the team. Lille was on the rise and so was Hazard's impact on the team. His remarkable performances led to him winning the League Young Player of the Year twice, but it wasn't just about individual accolades. With Hazard, Lille returned to the European scene, qualifying for the Europa League and even making waves in the Champions League. Hazard, the youngest in the team, was the poster boy of Lille's success. He dazzled in the Europa League, slicing through defences with ease. One memorable moment was against Genoa, where Hazard tore through their midfield and scored from the edge of the box. He was pivotal in their matches, including a standout performance against Liverpool in the Europa League. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. The 2011 season brought challenges, with Hazard initially dropped to the bench for inconsistency. However, he bounced back, showcasing his resilience and talent, leading Lille to an unbelievable league and cup double. He was named League One Player of the Year, the youngest ever to receive the award. In his final match for Lille, Hazard scored a hat-trick against Nancy. The night before, he'd organized a farewell party, and despite partying all night, he still managed to deliver an unforgettable performance on the pitch. When Eden Hazard joined Chelsea in 2012, his impact was immediate and profound. From his dazzling debut, where he assisted Branislav Ivanovic and earned a penalty, Hazard set the tone for an extraordinary tenure at Stamford Bridge. Under Roberto Di Matteo's leadership, Hazard quickly became a central figure in Chelsea's attacking force, displaying his remarkable skills and combining well with his teammates. His partnership with Juan Mata was electric, as they terrorized defenses with their combination of flair and efficiency. Hazard's brilliance was not just in his assists and goals, he accumulated individual accolades rapidly. He was named the PFA Young Player of the Year and included in the PFA Team of the Year, highlighting his immense talent. A memorable moment was Hazard's contribution to Chelsea's Europa League triumph in his first season, signifying his importance to the team. This victory was just the beginning of Hazard's collection of honours with Chelsea, which included two Premier League titles, an FA Cup and an EFL Cup. After a season that many would dream of in 2014-15, Hazard faced a challenging time in the 2015-16 season. His form dipped significantly, which was a stark contrast to his previous season where he was pivotal in Chelsea's Premier League victory. It was a period filled with controversies and underperformance, and not just for Hazard, but for Chelsea as a whole. This was notably under the management of Jose Mourinho and led the goose hitting, with Chelsea finishing at a disappointing 10th in the Premier League. What made this phase of Hazard's career so dramatic was the shift from his peak performance in the previous season. In 2014-15, he was lauded as the best player in the country, contributing significantly to Chelsea's title win and being awarded numerous accolades, including the PFA Player of the Year. His synergy with players like Diego Costa and Cesc Fabregas was remarkable, 
often providing crucial plays and goals. However, the following season saw a surprising lack of confidence and injury issues, leading to a significant dip in his performance. He didn't score his first Premier League goal until April, a stark difference from his form in the previous season. Despite this rough patch, the 2016-17 season marked a turning point for Hazard under the management of Antonio Conte. His resilience and dedication to improve shone through as he played a key role in Chelsea's resurgence and another Premier League victory. His performances improved dramatically, and he was again among the key players leading Chelsea's charge. This resurgence was not just a comeback for Hazard, but also a testament to his ability to bounce back from adversity. Hazard's last season with Chelsea further solidified his legacy at the club. He delivered impressive stats with a significant number of goals and assists. His final performance in the Europa League final against Arsenal, where he scored a goal, remains a highlight of his time at Chelsea. Throughout his time at the club, Hazard's skills, particularly in dribbling and creating opportunities, were exceptional, making him a standout figure in the club's history. His journey at Chelsea, marked by both highs and lows, showcases the unpredictable nature of football careers. Eden Hazard's talent, dedication and influence on the pitch made him an unforgettable figure in the club's history. Eden Hazard's move to Real Madrid in 2019, which had initially sparked great excitement, unfortunately turned into a series of struggles. Despite being once considered one of the best players of his generation, Hazard's time at Real Madrid was plagued by injuries, severely hampering his impact on the field. One significant moment that had a profound effect on Hazard's career at Real Madrid was a tackle he suffered during a Champions League match against PSG in 2019. This tackle by Thomas Meunier caused a micro-fracture in Hazard's ankle, an injury he never fully recovered from. This injury was particularly impactful as it previously broken the same ankle while at Chelsea. This series of injuries culminated in Hazard undergoing ankle surgery in March 2020. Despite these setbacks, Hazard did manage to win two La Liga titles, a Champions League, a Copa del Rey, a UEFA Super Cup, and a Spanish Super Cup with Real Madrid. After four years of injury struggles, Hazard and Real Madrid came to a mutual agreement to terminate his contract and allow him to seek other opportunities. But what would he do next? Saudi Arabia came calling with fresh filled coffers, offering a staggering contract of $1 million per week. And he didn't just have one offer, but he had multiple. But Hazard's decision to turn down these offers and retire from professional football was driven by a combination of factors. According to John Obi Mikel, a former teammate of Hazard, the Belgian star chose retirement over continuing his career because he was already financially secure. He had expressed to Mikel that he had enough money to support his family and didn't want to continue playing solely for financial gain. This decision came after Hazard's challenging stint at Real Madrid, where he struggled with injuries and form, resulting in a reduced impact on the field. Hazard himself elaborated on his reasons for retiring, stating that he no longer enjoyed playing football or training. He emphasized that the decision to retire was straightforward as he wasn't having fun on the pitch anymore and didn't want to play just for money. Hazard mentioned that he had many things to do outside football, which helped him make a calm and serene choice. Despite his struggles at Real Madrid, Hazard had opportunities to continue his career elsewhere, with interest from MLS and the Saudi Pro League, but he ultimately decided against it. His retirement, announced at the age of 32, marked the end of a 16-year career that saw him rise to prominence at Lille, become a Premier League icon with Chelsea and experience a tumultuous stint at Real Madrid. Despite the challenges at Real Madrid, Hazard's legacy, especially his time at Chelsea where he won two Premier League titles and two Europa League titles, remains significant. He's remembered for his exceptional pace, dribbling ability, and finishing skills, which made him one of the Premier League's all-time great players. Eden Hazard's journey from a youth prodigy to a star at Chelsea and the struggles he faced at Real Madrid 
forms a compelling narrative of a footballer's career. His retirement marks the end of an era for a player who dazzled fans with his skill and flair, leaving a legacy that will be remembered for years to come. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share your thoughts on his decision to retire and the impact he had on the football world. Would you turn down £1 million a week? Do you think injuries defined his time at Real Madrid or was there more to the story? Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Until next time, keep your love for the game alive and see ya on the pitch.